So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about stacking decks. So we've just played, finished playing a game of by hand. This person's got eight pair of eights, pair of fours, and strangely enough, I won with a pair of jacks. So what we're going to do is we just clean up the cards. And right now, I have already stacked the deck. Right at this precise moment, the stack has deck has been stacked. I'll do a shuffle on there. Why? Because I can. Let's just do a jog shuffle. Don't use them very often. Fake cut. Because remember, I always off to the cut. And if we deal out, you'll notice that I have one, two, three kings. And that's a pretty good well, full house. The full house is purely coincidental. I only stacked these three up. These two are just friends that came along for the ride. But that's the thing, if if you start off with a stack three, other things, sometimes good things happen. So how did that actually occur? So say we have three hands. I look at these three hands at the end, and I notice Every single one of these hands, well, there's three kings in here. One thing about um, three kings, and I'd like those three kings in my hand. So if I'm playing a five hand game, I want those three kings every fifth card. So when I pick up the cards, I'll pick up the those four, scoop up the king. Pick up those three, scoop up the king. And grab the, those four, Scoop up the king. The stack is now done. Because if you notice, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Every fifth card is the king. And at that point, all I need to do is I do a false shuffle. Let's do a uh, chop, chop sh um, shuffle. Very dodgy, those. Let's do a false cut, and then I deal out one, two, three, four, five, one, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And in a game like this, as I'm starting with a set of kings, oh, again, lucky. Uh, so the important thing is when doing this, people will practice this so they can pick up the cards so the cards every third, every fourth, every fifth, every sixth. So how do you stop something like this happening? And the answer is simple. We've mentioned it before, we actually did a video on it. And that's to do a Scarne cut. When you are offered the cards, if they're stacked, pull the middle bit out, put it on the top, then cut the cards normally. That's how you defeat a stack. It just, the only way to defeat a stack is with the cut. So if you think in any way you had been cheated with a stack, do the scanner cut. But this game, the thing you have to remember about stacks is players will only stack two, maybe three cards. They will not stack two hands. If they're going to stack two hands, they'll do an entire deck switch, which we will do in a later video. So say we're playing a game of Texas Holden, we're just playing four player. One, two, three, four. And we've done our betting phase. And I go, oh, lots of kings. I wouldn't mind a couple of kings. So what I'll do, so if I pick up that one and scoop those, you'll notice now that that king is fifth from the top. If I grab that one, and scoop those, that king is fifth from the top. Then I dump those there, usual thing, false shuffle, fake cut. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Guy now a pair of kings. I know there's another king out there in another hand. And I know that there's a king traveling loose. There's the loose king. Bingo. 
the way to stop this happening or the way to stop people stacking cards like that is when you're offered the cut, do a scarne. Pull out some cards, drop them on top, cut, give it back to them. And if they won't let you do a scarne cut, probably best you don't play with them. So next video we're going to do an overhand shuffle or an overhand stack.